here and in this video I'm going to talk about the top five tips that you need to know in order to choose a good target audience for your agency. So number one, make sure that you're choosing an industry that is growing, an industry that is, you know, making a significant amount of money and it's, you know, growing in a way that's making more and more money over time. More and more companies are being started in that industry more interest in that industry as well. So it's like a trending thing that a lot of people are just getting interested in. Uh, these are all good ways to tell if it is actually a growing and thriving industry. Number two, when you decide your target audience, you want to make sure that they have a need for your service. So you don't want to choose a target audience that is some industry that doesn't even need your service. So say you're doing web design, you want to target companies that actually need web design work. You wouldn't want to just target companies that don't even care about their website. Um, if you're doing social media marketing, you also want to target companies that care about social media, they're active on social media, and they understand the value and the importance. And number three, you should be able to understand the industry and be able to speak their language. So don't get into some industry that you don't know anything about, you don't know how to talk to them, you don't know the lingo. You want to make sure that it's something that you actually understand people that you can talk to easily. You're not going to sound awkward talking to these kinds of people. So just make sure that this stuff is in alignment. So for example, if you're working with like a technology company, you want to be able to at least understand the things that they're going to be talking about to just know in general how to uh, communicate with them effectively. And then number four, you want to choose a targeted audience that can have potential room for creativity and room for growth. And what I mean by that is that, you know, potentially you start off working with them with one particular front end service. And then, depending on their business and what they're doing and how they're doing their marketing, they might have other needs for other types of services as well. So this is a really great way to come up with like customized marketing plans for companies where you can integrate a lot of different types of services and put it together and you can either refer that out or you can have some people on your team actually doing it. So it can be really awesome if you are just able to creatively think of like more ways that you can help this company because then you can have a lot more projects and services going on with them. And then number five, you want to make sure that your target audience is hanging out on a platform that you are familiar with and that you like to work with. So for example, if your target audience is all over Instagram, you want to make sure that you actually like Instagram, you know how to work with Instagram. I wouldn't work with them if you've just like never been on Instagram your whole life. Same with like LinkedIn, Facebook. Just make sure it's a place that you want to be like if you just don't like TikTok, then you probably don't want to be working with brands or people or companies that are commonly on TikTok. So I hope that these five tips were helpful in helping you to determine what target audience will be best for your agency. And feel free to comment below your thoughts on this. Thanks. <laughs>